Welcome to the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge and this particular, particularly important aspect of the event, this is scrutineering. We're here in the Darwin Convention Center. We're set up with nine inspection stations and the teams have to come in here and go through a production line of inspections, which takes about four hours uh, because this is a world event and there is a lot of attention to detail paid by the inspectors. Uh, we expect to have about 12 cars through today, uh, some of the superstar teams uh, and others who perhaps we might find are not as well prepared, but that's all part of the fun. And if they're not, they'll get a chance to represent because our philosophy is to help them succeed and help to get them on the start line. So if they've done their bit, we can do our bit and we can get everybody safely together on the start line and importantly, safely down to Adelaide because the roadworthiness of the car is extremely important. A big afternoon today and the first time entrant from Estonia. Uh, they were due to come in 21, which is the ill-fated 21 event. Uh, they passed every station first time and they were the first team in the 23 event to get a whole line of green squares on the scrutineering board on their first attempt. So a big uh, uh, accolade to them for, for doing so. The scrutineering process is extremely thorough, as it has to be, to keep everybody safe on their 3,000 kilometer odyssey across the continent. So there's no guarantee that they're actually going to make it. But if they're properly prepared, if they've done their homework, if they've studied the regulations, because the regulations, after all, set out what needs to be achieved, we don't tell them how to achieve that. That's where the innovation comes in. If they've got everything right, We'll do our bit, we'll tick them off, and we'll present them for the final stage of the scrutiny process is on Saturday on the track where they have their dynamic tests. Uh, they have to do their uh, slalom test and their brake test with the Department of Road Transport and their qualifying lap. The speed of their qualifying lap dictates their uh, starting position on Sunday morning. So it's a very exciting time, it's a dynamic time, and. Uh, uh, as we said, it's not guaranteed, so there may well be tears before bedtime. So three more days of Prohelion static scrutineering here at the Darwin Convention Centre. We're looking forward to some interesting outcomes. We hope everybody gets through, and then we move into the dynamic scrutineering on Saturday on the track at Hidden Valley 